poked through a little bit finally. I'm on the descent, the long descent, I think, to uh, the road where you can take, uh, get a ride into town. I think that's where Fudge was going to try to get yesterday. It was like nine miles, I think, from uh, the shelter. But, uh, well, that's about the distance that the shelter I was aiming for, uh, that everyone else probably got to, was, so. Uh, anyway, it was really foggy and windy at the top of the hill, and tough uh, terrain. It's more open like this now. And I still gotta go up a bit and uh, down. So, uh, feels nice actually now. I'll probably have my raincoat off before too long. Uh, if the sun finally does fully break through. And uh, might not be a bad day. I'm doing okay on the descents, uh, ascents on these rock faces, but uh, not my speediest thing. I mean, uh, the uh, letters in the group much faster than me in every facet, so it's no wonder they got so far ahead and uh, pushed to the next shelter. Had I been an er hour earlier, perhaps, to the one I just went to, I uh, might have gone on to, but didn't want to go in the dark, as I mentioned before. And uh, sleep was okay. I turned a lot. Uh, some people got up the red light, some bright red lights or white lights every now and then. Just a bit of a pain. Um, and it did rain, but it didn't rain hard. It just kind of, I think, drizzled for a few hours and I could hear the water falling into a puddle just outside the uh, opening. Uh, no, it's just tree rain and a little blue sky when I look above me with uh, mist uh, blowing over the mountaintop. So. It should be a good day, yeah. You can feel the sun coming on to me right now. So, looking forward to it.
Okay, I'm at the uh, parking lot. So I'm officially into the next map. Uh, half a mile to water source. I can probably fill up one bottle. And uh, I'm going to a um, site of 11 miles, if I can make it. It's 10.30 now, so. Flower is, yeah, it'll be around probably six o'clock by the time I get there, if everything's okay. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, just looking for this map here. I just wanted to show you. You are here, Mount Katahdin. So, I guess I'm here. Somewhere here must be the 100 mile wilderness, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna pee in the woods, I guess, and uh, get a move on. I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes, and it's a bunch of uh, probably college students heading off for a camping trip, I guess, the beginning of school, bonding and all that stuff. Too bad there wasn't trail magic here. Can't have everything. I was looking across the road, this trail, wondering. Hmm, I wonder if that's the AT. Then I noticed this. <laughs> so I guess it is. Off we go. up to that peak yet and then descend and then climb again <laughs> I'm sure that's the way it'll be but uh, for a moment cloud but the sun has been wonderful when it's out uh, pretty breezy a little cool but staying up here for any length of time I don't want to put a jacket on otherwise views and uh, uh, you can't see Katahdin from here I guess but you never know that might be it way in the distance and I wouldn't know it uh, a couple hundred miles I guess it would be over the horizon at this point anyway this is one of those good hiking days feeling good today enjoying it Finally, a little ladder to help.
get you down. That's how I'm handy. Some slick rock. set up. I put the fly on. I've uh, cooked dinner and just waiting for it to rehydrate. And when I was at the last shelter there were about half a dozen kids. I was talking to them for about 15-20 you know, minutes longer than I wanted to uh, because I wanted to get going but I just chatted with them. They were asking questions and I didn't mind answering. And they asked if I wanted any candy, so they gave me two of these. So that's what I'm going to have for dessert. Uh, I also chatted with the guy at the uh, shelter I had lunch. His name was Groovy. Uh, I don't think he's going to make it. Southbounder, he was already waffling about going to the next shelter and talking about doing the notch with the wet rocks and stuff. and. Uh, it's a negative feeling. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, it was a, a lot better terrain than uh, earlier. There weren't so many evolved, very sloped rocks to deal with, uh, which made walking uh, more like what I was used to in the past. Um, every now and then it'd be fairly level and I can make some real uh, ground, although I was getting kind of tired. And uh, yeah, I realized I wasn't going to make it to the site I was aiming for, to the beaver pond in the parking lot, or not parking lot, but a couple of roads, and I apparently there was stealth camping in between them. Uh, this was the next best thing uh, before that, probably a couple miles earlier. Um, a stream, as you saw it has a little waterfall, and a uh, really nice campsite here at the view, although there is a tree in the way. <laughs> and there are campsites on top, and puddles, and a few other people have shown up and filled the, or filling those spots now, so just the quality can go up there, you know, you don't have to think about the company and all that stuff. I can just stay down here with myself, uh, pack up in the morning, and off I go. Um, I have to figure out where my next stop will be for the night. I've got one more dinner, uh, I've got a couple of tunas, a little bit of candy, 
trail mix bars, you know, uh, typical thing, the uh, sea sticks and uh, Slim Jims, got a few of those, and at least one more stickers bar. So, doing okay. Uh, as long as I get close enough to get to the pickup, either apparently 8 o'clock or 4.30, uh, I'm sure it'll be posted when I get to the road. Uh, wherever I'll be tomorrow night, I guess we'll determine whether or not I can make it to the 8 o'clock one. How early I'd have to get up to make it there. Or just take it easy and go to the 4.30 one. And uh, you know, sleep in, uh, sit in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, don't really want to do that, but I guess I could also try to hitch in. You think over the course of a few hours, I might be able to make it uh, get something to eat in the town and that type of thing. So there are options. Uh, yeah, as long as it's not more than one more night, I should be okay. I'm probably six miles short of, I'm guessing, six miles short of where I expected to be at this point, probably more. And uh, so that last day, I think there were three, 319 or something like that, I was thinking. And uh, I'm sure today was only 15. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's going to be room to spare on the uh, end of the third day. So I guess I'm looking at the 430 pickup for sure. Anyway, um, still blue sky. Should be really nice tomorrow and the day after. So I really don't have too much to worry about. Today was a good day other than feeling like I wasn't going to make my target because I was dawdling talking to people. But that's a good thing, talking to people. And plan B here isn't so bad. So anyway, here's the video I have again. Keep the tree. Plenty of water, so there they are up there. So I guess that's it for tonight. Um, I'm going to take a picture of the tent when it's got the fly on. Not like you haven't seen it before. Uh, with the falls in the background. And uh, dinner. So, Tulu, talk to you tomorrow or whenever.